military has charged Army Staff Sergeant Robert Bales with 17 counts of premeditated murder. He's accused of killing 17 Afghan villagers, but officials say it could be years before Bales goes to trial. Whit Johnson is in Washington with new details about Sergeant Bales' troubled past. Good morning, Whit. Ben, good morning to you. Court records show in the last decade, Bales had been in two separate drunken fights, one of them following alleged sexual misconduct with a woman. The incident shed new light on a soldier now accused of mass murder. In 2008, Staff Sergeant Robert Bales was described as extremely intoxicated when a woman claimed he thrust her hand towards his crotch, then proceeded to fight her boyfriend. In 2002, Bales completed 20 hours of anger management after assaulting a security guard. <laughs> Military officials say Bales was also drinking before the March 11th massacre, in which he allegedly killed 17 Afghan civilians, including women and children, then burned some of their bodies. Crimes in combination worthy of capital punishment. This case is still under investigation, and, uh, and so uh, what we saw most recently was a first step in a long process. At the center of Bale's case is whether combat stress turned a good soldier bad. Bale's attorney says his client has no memory of the alleged killings. He served four tours, was injured twice, and suffers from PTSD. We've been in this war for 10 years, and so this is something that we haven't seen before. But some military mental health experts say there is no proof that PTSD can lead to violent acts. It's not enough for a complete defense either, says retired Navy lawyer Philip Cave. The severity of his psych psychosis, for example, those kinds of things, the impacts, uh, those are going to be have to be factors that will be explored. And Bales is now under 24-hour watch at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. An evaluation will soon be underway to determine whether he's fit to stand trial. Ben? Whit Johnson in Washington. Thanks, Whit.